So let's talk about uh, another subject that I think is really interesting. Um, one subject that is actually um, very uh, exciting in terms of overall healthcare, certainly mental health care, uh, and uh, uh, very relevant to what we can do in therapy is help a person change their self-care behaviors that can then result in epigenetic change. So what the heck is epigenetics? Epigenetics means above the genome, which means in effect that your genes aren't necessarily destiny. So the genes that you possess don't necessarily play out and get expressed. They can be expressed under certain conditions. In other words, what you do and what you experience has a lot to do with the way your genes are experienced, or rather uh, expressed. Now, uh, a lot of this research, interestingly, was done initially in Canada at the Harvard of Canada, which is McGill University. So you all ought to be very happy about uh, the research done by Michael Meany and others at McGill University. Uh, that found that uh, early nurturance, positive nurturance, can result in a better thermostat-like function later in life. What do I mean by that? Well, if you get very good, positive, warm, early care, your stress tolerance can be more uh, resilient, more vital, more adaptive, uh, than a person that is neglected as a child. So how does that play out? Well, there are certain uh, uh, aspects of your uh, overall stress response system. One of them is uh, related to the cortisol receptors on your hippocampus. So think in terms of a thermostat that has receptors in it for heat. As the heat goes up, the thermostat switches and turns on either the coolant or the heater or, or whatever. Uh, if there are cortisol receptors on your hippocampus that detect the rise of cortisol, which is a, a, a general stress hormone, then this thermostat function on, on your hippocampus then turns off the stress response. In other words, you're more durable. You have shock absorbers. You're better able to navigate through a complex social environment compared to another person that may not have a thermostat function in their brain and body systems. Uh, and our job is to help a person develop those thermostat functions later in life. Perhaps they didn't develop them earlier.